Hey guys, it's Crazy Gladiator here, once again bringing you some more Mountain Blade Warband gameplay. And I finally said that without messing up. It's achievement in and of itself. 20 gamer score. No, I'm kidding. Anyways, um, first of all, I'm going to apologize beforehand here. I, I was actually going to bring you some content yesterday with the tournament. But the frickin' thing had to crash on me, so we won't be doing that, sadly. I'll see if I can find another tournament in any of the other cities, but I kind of doubt it. So, for now, you're just... we won't be seeing any tournament. Sorry. Hmm. I do have the money from it, though. Well, no, I don't, because I spent it all on armor, but y you know what I meant. Easy. Okay, here we go. Start a game. Um, first off, I just want to talk about some recent events that uh, happened in Syria today. I don't. I don't normally talk about world events. It's 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 kind of like a policy of mine. Don't talk about um. Don't talk about religion or politics. To politics, because you'll end up upsetting someone that doesn't believe the same thing as you. But I'm going to try and do it anyways. Uh, a 13-year-old boy who was not a part of the Syrian protesters was picked up by the government and was taken from his family. They then returned him a few weeks later in a body bag, and he, he, his body had been riddled with bullets, his neck had been snapped, and his penis had been cut off. Think about that for a second there. It's it's a tough thing to think about, isn't it? That a thirteen-year-old kid was just picked up. We I don't even was I don't I'm not even sure if he was a a part of the uh, protest group. I don't even think he was. He's a thirteen-year-old kid. He was just too close. He was in the wrong place in the wrong time, and that got him killed. Think about that for a second. It's it's insane, in its own way. In the same way, that's what's been happening this entire year. Country, gover countries all over the world have been trying to re have been trying to go back against their government, revolution, and all that. For first, there was Egypt, then Libya, now there was China, and that's me smacking my hand against my other hand. By the way, not that, pervs. Uh. Well, we assume it was China. There's speculation of it, of course. But I imagine there might be because you're not going to be able to get much media in and out of that place. China China is nothing if not competent. So there is that for you. Uh, it just... it's It kind of makes you wonder just what kind of monsters like that get into power in the first place. They murdered an innocent 13-year-old boy, and not only did they do that, they tore his family apart with his death, and for, like, I oh, just, just, oh my god. And then, it just, they, they couldn't even just kill him, no, they had to strip him of his dignity, too, by cutting off his penis, like, why? Why would you do that? And don't and don't and don't go. Oh well, that's been happening all over the world. Get used to it. Yeah, I'm aware of it. You'd have to be blind if you weren't aware of it. I don't really know why I'm talking about a world event. It's just something that resonated very strongly to me for some reason. Maybe it's because it's a child that's in the same age group as me in in my own right, and he was just murdered. I I said I uh I said in the Facebook post that no you won't be able to see it that even though no matter how good your day is going you always hear something that makes you take stock of your surroundings look around you and just realize how fragile your tiny little world is it's true isn't it No matter what people like to think, people always have this self f false sense that they're invincible and 
As we all know, nobody is. Unless you count Chuck Norris. I might have to edit that out. <laughs> nah. Anyways. But yeah. This is it, something to think about, isn't it? It's it's a really crazy world we live in where we murder... Th where in a society that has been so racked by war that we have gotten to the point that we can murder 13-year-old children just to stay in power and then find it acceptable. I honestly... But, you know, the only good thing that came out of this, the only good thing that came out of this, is that now the rebels have a martyr. They have someone to fight for. And don't get me wrong, you, you'd, be, you'd be lying if you said that this kid was the only one who, uh, who's been murdered over there for being in the wrong place in the wrong time. No, he's one of thousands, guys. He is one of thousands. He's not the only one to be murdered. You crazy? I don't. Of course they're not. Think about it. He's not the first, and he damn well won't be the last. So, just think about that for a second. It's a it's a very tough thing to think about. But hmm. Sorry for the moment of silence there. I just, you know. But then again, there's also China, which is also having a revolution. Like, oh yeah, by the way, if you haven't figured it out yet, I am actually going to talk about a lot of world events today because I can. And I'm tired, so um, technically I'm not responsible for my actions. Um, it is very early in the morning. But... China is supposedly also having a revolution called the Jasmine Pro Jasmine Revolution in their attempt to bring democracy to the world, to their country, I mean. And it's a noble thing, but how can you really get behind them? How could anybody in Canada get behind them? We, we don't understand communism. It's not something we have lived with. It's not something we're used to, and... Like, I, I live in Canada. I, it's a democratic government there. People get the right to vote. And basically, it's everything that China, Syria, Libya, and Egypt aren't. And, it's, yeah. But it's not just that. If they are actually having a revolution, let us look back, ladies and gentlemen, to the events of Tiananmen Square. Because I think it was... Students, college students that were murdered there by the government for speaking out. Or was it they were college students and the tuition rate was too high or something and they couldn't afford to live? And so they went to protest. And you want to know what the Chinese did? They rolled out tanks. I mean, I can, un I can respect a government's desire to stay in power and assert its authority as long as it is not actively opposing the rights and freedoms of other human beings in its under its reign which that's pretty much what China is doing that and they're not doing that when you think about it because they have communism which I'm not too sure about it's everybody lives equally in some way it's it's a great concept but it doesn't work it doesn't work at all and as much as I honestly, I'm going to have to be a bit controversial here. I honestly hope that revolution goes nowhere. I hope they just stop it. Don't do it. It's a horrible idea. You will, <laughs> if the Chinese government is anything like it was in t during Tiananmen Square, you guys are going to get face rolled by a bunch of shredded tanks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a tough thing to think about, ladies and gentlemen. How fragile your little world is. Right here, you, the people watching this, they're probably sitting on a comfy cu comfy chair, maybe eating some chips or drinking some Mountain Dew or something. But then you have Egypt or Libya or Syria, where people are being murdered on a constant basis. Think about it.
about that for a second. They don't have rights. No, they don't. Some people are considered livestock. That's as good as some people are over there. And just think about what that, what kind of situation that would be like to live in, guys. It's nothing we have had to deal with so far. Nothing. No matter how bad you think your life is, somebody, I don't care. I don't care what anybody thinks about this. No matter how bad you think your life is, somebody out there has it way worse than you do. So suck it up. I'm also going to buy a lot of cabbage. But I'm, I'm nearing the end of this video, guys, so I'm going to wrap this up here. Basically, I read the article, I heard about the article while watching the news, and it's just something that resonated with me. Like, wow. The people don't even care. There used to be a false sense of security when you were about my age that, you know, nobody would dare ever hurt somebody as young as us. Well, times have changed, guys. It's time to wake up. But anyways, the kid deserves all your respect, and every other child like him deserves your respect as well. He is, he's a hero in his own right. He is, yeah? And hopefully, well, it's a tough thing to think about. There has been enough bloodshed for 2011. There's been enough. We don't need any more. And yeah, I'm right. There has been enough bloodshed for 2011. Too many revolutions have happened. Too many people have died. It's a bad, bad thing. Maybe it's just, you know, like, hmm. I can, but, you know, it's hard for me to say that because I don't know the climate they're living in. I don't know the circumstances in which they survive on to a day-to-day -day basis. Like, maybe for them, it is absolutely necessary we do this. And it sounds a lot like it is. Your children are dying for being in the wrong wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, guys. Oh. I'm gonna finish this off with a huge epic battle. Oh, shit. No, I'm not. some more volun- oh, I have no money? Appears I don't. Oh wait, there's weapon points. Weapon points and one added weapon. Crossbows, crossbows, crossbows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, guys. That's me for the day, everybody. I think I'm gonna end it right here with Aeneswati. And the very lands of which I came to are being assaulted by the kingdom of Rodex. We will come back next time and see what we can do about this. Send them back to where they came from. Okay. Save that right there. As always, guys, I'm sorry to bring up make the conversation so morbid, but it has to be done. Anyways, this is Crazy Gladiator with you here, bringing you more Call of Duty game, not Call of Duty, Mountain Blade Warband, please. And as always, I will see you next time and have a fantastic day.